what it is it's about a blind man meeting with Jesus but before we go into that let's say a very quick prayer to our God are you ready settle down are you ready let's go Heavenly Father we thank you for yet another beautiful day it is such an honor to be here in your presence we ask, O oh Lord, that you fill our homes, you fill our hearts, and you fill us, that we may hear so clearly from you today. And Lord, we pray that all that we hear and learn, that we're able to put it into practice, so that we're able to touch the lives of the people all around us, just like you would want us to. Father, we give you thanks, for we have prayed in Jesus' mighty name. Now settle down, 
Trust me, this is going to be a really, really good one. Are you ready? Let's go. Jesus on a mission. Jesus heals the blind. Let's take our identity. One, two, go. I am wonderfully made. I'm fearfully made. I know my identity. I am a child of God. I am bold. I am creative and full of ideas. I am not a slave to fear and I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. Our Bible reading will be taken from the book of Mark chapter 10 from verses 46 to 52. This story from Jesus' life tells about a man who had faith to call out to Jesus even when others told him to be quiet. He knew that Jesus could meet his physical and spiritual needs. The man was healed and received his eyesight because of his faith in Jesus and his power. Now, let's close our eyes for a minute and imagine that we cannot see at all. Are your eyes closed? Now, try and open your eyes with your eyelids still closed tight. All you see is pitch black, right? This is what blindness is like. I can only imagine how blind Bartimaeus felt back then. Let's see what happens in the story. Now turn your Bibles to Mark chapter 10 verse 46. Jesus and his disciples visit to Jericho. Jesus and his disciples came to Jericho to preach the gospel. And as he was leaving Jericho with his disciples, there grew a large crowd around him. A blind beggar, Bartimaeus, the son of Timaeus, was sitting beside the road. Now, who is Bartimaeus? Bartimaeus was a blind man sitting by the roadside near Jericho begging. Some kind-hearted people likely gave him a small coin or a piece of food as they passed by. Bartimaeus could not work because he could not see. He could only beg. Hmm. Bartimaeus heard the tramp of many feet. He felt something unusual was happening. Soon, the blind man learned what it was. When Bartimaeus heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to shout and say, Jesus, son of David, that's the Messiah, have mercy on me. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Why did Bartimaeus cry out? Why did he think Jesus could help him? Perhaps he had heard about others Jesus had healed. Some were deaf, some dumb, some were crippled, and some blind, as he was. Son of David, have mercy on me, Bartimaeus shouted again and again. His voice rang with hope. Bartimaeus was sure of one thing, though. If he didn't get help now, he might never pass his way again. Jesus, that is. Lord, help me today. No matter what I face, I won't let go of your hand. Amen. Did you say that prayer? Let's say it again. Lord, help me today. No matter what I face, I won't let go of your hand. Amen. Bartimaeus had to reach Jesus, but the people didn't move. Many sternly rebuked him, telling him to keep still and be quiet. Shh, they said. But he kept on shouting out all the more, Son of David, have mercy on me. Son of David, have mercy on me. 
Can we all call on Jesus now? Son of David, have mercy on me. Well done. But Bartimaeus didn't shush up. He kept on yelling. Suddenly, Jesus stopped, listened, and commanded the blind man to be brought to him. Be of good cheer, the people told Bartimaeus. Rise, get up, he's calling for you. Throwing his cloak aside, Bartimaeus jumped up, rose and came to Jesus. And Jesus said, what do you want me to do for you? How would you have answered? Would you have asked for lots of money or nice new clothes? Is that what Bartimaeus wanted? No, blind Bartimaeus didn't ask Jesus for gold or nice clothes. You know what he wanted. Bartimaeus said to him, Rabboni, my master, let me regain my sight. Bartimaeus wanted to see, to see the trees and the birds and all the beauty of God's creation. He wanted to see so he could care for himself and not be a beggar. Jesus said to him, go, your faith and confident trust in my power has made you well. Immediately, he regained his sight and began following Jesus on the road. All he could say was, God is wonderful. He healed me. It was a wonderful moment for Bartimaeus. All the people, when they saw him, gave praise to God. Once again, they had seen the wonderful power of God's Son, Jesus, bringing sight to a poor, blind beggar. Let's have a short quiz. What does it mean to be blind? Good job. And why did the blind man cry out to Jesus? Absolutely. Why didn't the man stay quiet when everyone around him told him to be quiet? Why did Jesus heal the man? And what did the man do when he was able to see? I bet you answered all these questions correctly. And let's take a look at whether you did get them all right. It means that you cannot see if you are blind. The man cried out to Jesus because he knew that Jesus was the only one that had the power to give him sight. He knew that the only way he could regain his sight was through Jesus. Jesus healed the man because he had faith to believe that Jesus could heal him. He immediately began thanking Jesus and praising him because he could finally see. Now let's take our memory verse. Jesus said to him, Go, your faith and confident trust in my power has made you well. This same story has also been written in other books in the New Testament, and you can find them in Matthew chapter 20 from verses 29 to 34, and in the book of Luke chapter 18 from verses 35 to 43. Now, one thing I noticed was what Jesus said to Bartimaeus. He said, go, your faith has made you well. Jesus didn't ask him if he had followed all the commandments. 
He didn't make him give everything away. He didn't make him promise to help others or go to church or tell others about God and Jesus. Why do you think that is? Jesus would love it if everyone did all those things. And he would have loved it if Bartimaeus did those things. But the truth is, he didn't. I don't. No one does. That's because we all sin and do things we shouldn't do. And even though Bartimaeus didn't do all of those things, Jesus healed him anyway. Do you know why? Because God doesn't ask us to earn his mercy. We can't earn it, but he wants us to have it anyway. So instead of earning it, he just wants us to have faith and ask. In order to go to heaven, you have to be saved. But can you earn salvation? No, you can't. Instead, all God asks us to do is have faith and ask. That's all we have to do. We can't earn it, but he can give it away. God still wants us to try our best. He still wants us to try to follow the commandments and go to church and tell others about Jesus, but it isn't going to earn us a place in heaven, just like it wasn't going to bring Bartimaeus back his eyesight. We don't have to worry about trying to earn our way into heaven. We just need to ask God to save us, believe he will, and try our best at everything else. As you log off today, remember to have faith in Jesus. He can do wonderful things in your life, just like he did in the life of blind Bartimaeus. Let's say a short prayer together, thanking God for all of the blessings that he has given to us, children, and we pray that we would continue to grow in your faith in Jesus Christ. Amen. When Jesus walked through cities and villages with his disciples, many people followed him. One day, when they were near the city of Jericho, Jesus and his disciples passed a man who sat by the road begging. This poor man was blind. His name was Bartimaeus. When Bartimaeus heard the crowd of people passing by, he asked what was happening. We are following Jesus of Nazareth. Someone replied, Bartimaeus had heard of Jesus and how he had healed people who were sick. He wanted to meet Jesus, so he called out loudly, Jesus, have mercy on me. Some people didn't think it was right for this beggar to be calling out to Jesus like that. So they told him to be quiet. Be quiet! But Bartimaeus wanted Jesus to notice him. Jesus, have mercy on me! He shouted even louder this time. People were embarrassed and annoyed by this beggar. Jesus heard Bartimaeus calling to him and stopped walking. Bring the man to me, Jesus said. Cheer up, Bartimaeus, someone said. Jesus wants to see you. Bartimaeus jumped to his feet and walked to Jesus. What do you want me to do for you? Jesus asked Bartimaeus. Master, Bartimaeus said. I want to see. Jesus said. Your faith has healed you. Receive your sight. Instantly, Bartimaeus was able to see. It was a miracle. Jesus had healed him. Bartimaeus was so happy that he jumped up and down for joy. He praised God for the answer, and then he followed Jesus along the way. Wow, children, wasn't that just amazing? Jesus truly is a miracle worker. Even the blind gain their sight when they meet with him. He is so powerful and so awesome and can do absolutely everything. All we need to do is put our trust and our faith in him and he will come through. So, Jesus is here today and he's asking you and I 
to believe and to trust in him. Are you ready? I would like to lead you in a prayer to say, Jesus, I love you. I've heard of you and I would love you to be in my life. Are you ready? Just say after me. Dear Jesus, thank you for the price that you paid upon the cross. I know that you came down from heaven to save me from my sins. And I accept that sacrifice. Lord Jesus, come into my heart today and let us walk together forevermore. In Jesus' name, amen. That's all. All right? So remember, Jesus is a wonder-working God, a miracle-working God. Roll with him today and this week as you go through. Okay? Bye-bye. See you next Sunday for another amazing service. Okay? Bye. Bye.